Hey folks, so it is 10.51 p.m. and I am currently preparing a pumpkin for tomorrow where I will be filming in water with a pumpkin on a friend's head. And in order to make the pumpkin fit, if you do want to put a pumpkin on someone's head ever, a good idea that I came up with, well hopefully what I think is a good idea, is putting the inside of it a little bit thinner. So I have been pulling these chunks out. And so if you see here, if you make it wider, so if you make the rind of it thinner, you might be able to fit someone's head in it. So the good news is the pumpkin is starting to fit. I still want to thin it out a little bit further because my friend has a bigger head than I do. And I kind of want to make it a little bit evener at the bottom so that it fits a little bit better. It sits a little bit better. And yeah, I'm excited to test this out in the water tomorrow. So the next step after I've hauled it out is to try it on again and try and mark where the eye and the mouth holes will go for our on the head jack-o-lantern. All right, let's give it a whirl. Well, let's go ahead and estimate here. So here's the outside of my eyes and then here's where they should be on here. So I've got one mark here. I'm gonna mark right here. I think this jack-o-lantern is going to be bigger eyes, so I'm gonna make them in the shape of a star or a circle, whichever cuts better. So as you can see here, right there is a mark, and then right there is the other mark for the eye. And then I'm going to draw a star and draw a star and we'll get started. Star number one. Star number Well, that could not be seen.
both eyes are now cut out. Let's go ahead and test it. Now for the initial test with everything cut out. So I'm stoked to have the cutout finally done. The one concern that I have is tomorrow, once the salt water hits it, it might get super slimy and slippery, especially on the inside. So we'll deal with that when we come to it. For now, I'm going to clean up the mess, get the pumpkin out of my hair, and get some rest for tomorrow getting up super early just past five and we are going to start filming at 6 30. <laughs> It is 4.52 in the afternoon on the day before the deadline at midnight for a pumpkin creation process and I initially started this morning I did some filming in water with a friend of mine with a pumpkin head so we did like a jack-o'-lantern I was planning on doing the main thing which was the Chewbacca but it turns out it's actually going to be thunderstorming all day tomorrow particularly in the morning when I was supposed to be filming so the people kind of bailed on me and this one girl who had a Chewbacca costume which was like the best idea ever um kind of decided not to come so I asked about today and that did not happen either lens is kind of fogging up it's a little bit um a little bit foggy out here a little bit human <laughs> Wow, you can really see the humidity. It's right there, but... I found one option, Spirit Halloween on South College Road. Is that the one you want? Looks like that's it. So there were supposed to be two Halloween stores in town. Um, one of which is called Spirit Halloween and the other one is Halloween and more. So I tried calling Spirit Halloween and it was like a long line of like press this number and then wait 15 minutes. And so I tried calling Halloween and more and they checked and they only had Chewbacca in kid sizes. They don't get it until October 1st. It is showing Halloween and more being the same as Spirit Halloween, which is in the same location according to the GPS and Google and the maps. So drove over here, but then finding out that it's kind of the same place. And so no Chewbacca costume in sight right now. And so let's see what else we can do. So my current idea is to have a pumpkin head drive a VW bus because that could be a good alternative. It might entertain people, might be interesting. I don't think it's been done before, so it'd be something different. You see, another thought is to do a reaction video going to the beach and seeing like what people think and their commentary on walking around with a pumpkin head. Like put the jack lantern on your head, just walk around. The only issue is that because it's storming, no one's really at the beach right now. And with regulations and stuff, it's kind of iffy if you go into a store, if you can legally do that without some sort of repercussion right now. I mean, you could say it's your coronavirus mask, but I feel like with the state of things, people might, I don't know, do something like kick you out of the store and whatnot. And um, yeah, so that's interesting. So here's my latest idea. It's pretty early. I just pulled out of the driveway. Um, hopefully my rain -X has a little bit of life left to it. Um, there's some water dripping through on the side of my door because the window, um, like the front window actually leaks but we're making the most of it and I'm um, heading to the beach to meet up with Chewbacca. The thing that I constantly try to remind myself is even when you face like a bazillion setbacks and plans change and everything, like if you have a plan, just try and stick to it. Uh-oh. <laughs> I thought my, my headlights almost went out right there. Um, 
challenges in life, but you just have to keep on going and you can't let one thing get you down and you know, you just come up with alternatives and see what you can do and you know, I just really hope that this girl comes through and shows up this morning to be filmed as Chewbacca. Um, if not, I'll figure something else out and we'll just keep going. I think that's how you gotta look at life is every time you face a setback or a challenge, you just keep going, you know, maybe one thing wasn't meant to be, maybe something else works. So I just got to the beach now and just parked and now I'm going to find out where my friend Emily is who's coming in her Chewbacca suit. And I've got the pumpkins already in here. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments down below and let me know of any other ideas that you want me to try out with surfing and different costumes in the water. I think that could be really cool.